All right, today we're on the Nansman River, and we're overlooking here, and on overlook, and we feel like this is a spot that they could have had a, a sentry post or maybe a canyon place, but who knows? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and check this area out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this whole area out right here. It's a, you can see it's some modern stuff in here. We're gonna clean it out and see if uh, we can find anything from the old days. We did find in the past some Civil War bullets down there on the shoreline and Civil War bullets in the field. We got my good man Jeff, the gold man here with us today. So we're gonna give it a shot. Well, first we're gonna clean up and then do a little detecting. All right, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, we give up on the woods and we came out here to the field and we're testing. Huh? We got a little hit with this nice, good, hard hit with the uh, probe here. So we're gonna dig down here. It's on about two or three feet and see what that hard surface is in there. Maybe some bricks, another colonial pit in the field. We'll see. All right, we just started digging. Look at this, I like this, look. That is charcoal. Sweet, this could be something down here. That's a good sign anyway. All right, let's keep going. Hi, right, I'm working on the field just doing some test test holes here with this um, rig here, this uh, ground rod. And I'm trying to hit areas I see oyster shells on the ground. Because if you remember, my other one I dug over there, oyster shells all in it, bricks and everything. So I'm kind of looking around, see if I can find some oyster shells or brick or anything. Give me an indication it might be something down here. Uh, you can see oyster shells. It's definitely, I don't know, they could have been dragged over from the old pit. From the old days, maybe. But I don't think so. I think they had a, another pit here. Or at least a uh, outhouse or something out here. So... I'm going to poke around here a little bit more and check it out. Uh, just to give you a little quick idea what you do. Once you get this thing in the ground good, this this area here seems to be going down pretty easy, which I like. What you do is you when it come out of the ground here, it catches a little bit of the dirt right here on the edge. And as you can see, it gives you kind of an example of what's in the ground. And what you look for is the black uh, coal. You know, from where maybe they had a fire or something, it would catch on the edge, you'll see a little black on there. So you know that uh, that's something you don't want to dig here. Anyway, let's keep looking, see what we can find. All right, while well, I'm out there trying to find a pit, just over here doing some metal detecting, he did find like a Civil War bullet. I think that's a Colt bullet. That sure looks like a Colt bullet to me. It's got that white patina on it, too. Very cool, Very cool man. Awesome. All right, cool. All right, we're just getting started, so maybe we'll find something good for the days out. All right, this is the first time I put this thing in the ground, and it went all the way down. No resistance. That kind of tells me that it could be where they dug down, because uh, everywhere in this whole field, about three foot down, you hit a hard layer of, of uh, gravel. So I'm just going to take a test dig right here and see what we come up with. All right, just dug a little bit down. I don't see any uh, charcoal, and also the layer down here, is, the color change is perfect. I would think it would be the same color all the way down to you. Dug it out. Filled it back in, so we're going to give up on this one. Move on to the next. All right, I switched over to my AT Pro here, and Jeff's over here using his uh, Excalibur. He's got a hit over here now. What you got, Jeff? Oh, man, it looks like a buckle. I'm sure it is. I that's... think it looks like a buckle to me. I don't know how old it is, but, yep, that's it. That's what it does. There's nothing else in I ain't writing on it or anything? No, I don't see any writing on it. What is it made of, though? Nothing else in the hole. It looks like, uh, it's got like a silver tarnish to it. Yeah, it I think it's a silver plated buckle. It rang like a coin. Did it? Yeah, bang, bang, bang. I thought maybe it was a coin. Huh, I think it might be silver plated. Is that definitely old? Good job. That's yeah, a good right. hit. Good all hit, right. Jeff. Good deal, all right. Nice. All right, put it away. Let's keep looking. This, this general area right here is a good spot to hit. All right, Jeff's calling. I just got something good over here. Let's go check it out. All right. What do you got, Jeff? This time I know it's a Civil War bullet. It actually hit something. Look, it's impacted. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Civil War. Yeah. It's got the right patina. It's a big one, too. It's a yeah. little thing. Well, I think it's a standard caliber, but it just got hit on the end and beat the heck out of it. Sweet. Good job, man. Civil War time. Let's look in this particular area. See if we can turn up anything I like else. that. Yeah. It looks like it's right deep. It was. But it rang like a coin. It was very loud. Cool deal. All right. I think More wet, Civil War. This wet soil is, uh, is helping. Well, you can see by the size of this hole, I've been digging the heck out of this hole trying to find this target. I finally found it, I think. 
It looks like a, maybe a button. But it, it rings up like silver. It's really loud number on it. It's like an 80, so I don't know about that. We'll have to uh, kind of inspect that a little closer in a little bit here. It's a beautiful day out here today, though. Man, it's been so cold so much lately. Now it's been getting close to 60 today, I think. Love it. We just kind of keep this weather going. We can do a lot of hunting. Tide wasn't right to get the river today, but uh, another four or five days would be perfect. So we'll go hit the coin hole again probably in the uh, first of the week and uh, hopefully find some good stuff out there. Well, hopefully we'll find some good stuff here today. We ain't done yet. All right, Jeff had to hit the road, but I'm still digging, and I see something around. I have not taken it out and looked at it yet. It's a definitely a coin, I'd say. Oh, button, let's see. Nothing on the back, that's definitely a coin. Oh, man. It's a wheat penny, I think. Dang on it. Yep, it's a weedy. Man, I thought sure there would be something good there. Maybe an Indian hit or something. We got us a weedy. All right, we'll get us a date on that. I think somebody cut the air conditioner on. It's definitely chilling down this afternoon for some reason. Anyway, I'm still trying the old uh, probe in the ground here, as you can see. I'm trying to see if I can find another one of these pits. There's my old two colonial pits I dug out over there. And I definitely believe it's got some other pits in here. But anyway, I'm going to try to hit this thing a little bit more. And call it a day in probably about another 30 minutes. I have stuck my probe down here and hit a nice hard target right here with the with the probe and guess what? It was a rock! Hoping for a bottle or a brick, but no luck. I've dug about eight of these holes by hitting something like that and nothing in the end. So anyway, you know this like I say no for a fact there's two pits there. I know there's some more in here, but I think I might have to call it a day today. Hope everybody enjoyed it. What we did today didn't find a whole lot, but uh, had a good time, and Jeff got out and did a little bit of hunting and found a few things. Got a buckle and bullets, and I got one button, so yeah, we did pretty good, but uh, nothing great today, so appreciate everybody coming along. All right, we'll head out again in a few days. I decided to come out and do a little detecting with the metal detector, Garrett AT Pro. I just started digging for this target. Check it out. We got an oyster shell. We got bones, and we got some black charcoal. Look at that. some bones. I, know, I saw this on the edge here. Look at that whole bone. These are bones. That's actually teeth. Look at that. That's teeth. That's a big teeth from probably a, um, a hog or something they slaughtered. But anyway, this hole might have some good stuff in it. Looking down in it, I don't see anything else in it yet. Oh, there it is. Look in the bottom of the hole right there. Look at that. I got a big old bone down there. Look at that. Yep, it's kind of coming apart on me, but that's definitely animal bone down there. So this could be the start of another pit, potentially. The only reason I dug it because I got a good hit. So might be something in it. All right, stay tuned. Maybe we found it. I haven't found that uh, signal I got yet, but look at this. We got some iron in the hole. We got an oyster shell. Oh, that's nothing. And we got some bones in it. So, and look on the side here. You can see the black. So, we definitely got a little something going on here. Let's go ahead and dig it out uh, a little bit further and see what we got. All right, it's definitely where somebody's doing some cooking and some activity here. You can see the oyster shell still in here. You can see the soot in here. Here's old coal right there, look at that. But it cooked something. And on the edge here, you can all see all the coal markings. And this is something here, what is that? What is that? That's just a big old piece of bread, I mean, uh, iron. Uh, and I did find some, uh, you know, more nails in there, more, more shells. So I can tell it's going out this way. All right. We can't know how much time left today, but we're definitely going to be coming back and checking it out. Maybe they put some bottles in here. That's what we want. Some old bottles. I still got a few, little bit of time. The sun's going down pretty fast, but I still got a little bit of time to hit it. All right, let's get it. All right, it's looking better all the time. Look here. Our first piece of glass. This is glass probably from the 1600s. That last two pits that had 1600s glass in it. 
awesome and you see animal bone right here oyster shell here let's see if we can dig this one little animal bone out here maybe big old bone there it is little animal bone so they're definitely cooking in here all right so it's looking good I think we got our job planned for us tomorrow. Alright, stay tuned. Hope we can find some whole bottles in here. That'd be awesome. Alright, we're gonna have to call it a day, but I tell you what, it's got potential. Look, we got OR nails. We got bone. Oh look at them, look at that. Teeth. I didn't see that. Got teeth all over that one. Look at that. Old jawbone. Look at this tusk. Probably from an old pig or something, I guess. Boar. Big old tooth. We got bones galore in here. Oyster shell. We got some brick. We got some brick in here. But nothing's real deep. So, I see some, uh, a lot of stuff in here. There's oyster shell. More bone. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna, uh, I think this is going to be a good one. Might be something in here. Uh, we'll follow this out tomorrow. Stay tuned.